The youngest player in the NBA went off against the Warriors. GG Jackson, a quick release like he was a splash brother. Over and over, the 19-year-old buried the dubs for 23 points, two steals, and two blocks. But the real shock was talking to his idol after the game. GG Shaq here, I don't have any questions. I just want to say congratulations, young fella. Look at that face. It's like we're watching a dream come true in real life. But why? GG was supposed to be here. At one point, he was number one in the recruit rankings, but then he slid all the way to 45th in the draft. He seems like such a nice, humble kid and talented. What happened? Well, it started with a decision he made at 16 years old. But first, one time I went to England and dragged my wife to see soccer games. Everything was cool except at West Ham. I couldn't get tickets, so I scalped them outside the stadium. Horrible decision. I was behind a pole in the upper deck. No joke. Not a problem if I had the sponsor of today's video, Game Time. They have amazing last minute deals for sports, music, comedy, and theater, but you can see the view from your seat on the app. They also have all in pricing and a best price guarantee. So I used Game Time to buy tickets to Cavaliers at Rockets when they're in town recently. And I love the features like that little icon right there that is telling me that I'm getting the best deal. And like I said, view from the seat. Nice. They have all in pricing to show your total up front so you know you're getting a good deal before you check out. You can buy tickets in seconds with two taps. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Just download the Game Time app, create an account, and use promo code AMHOOPS for $20 off your first purchase. That is promo code AMHOOPS. Terms apply, but again, create an account and redeem the code AMHOOPS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets lowest price guarantee. Gigi is from South Carolina and played high school there, just like Zion Williamson and his teammate John Morant. Gigi led Ridgeview High to a state championship as a sophomore, and at six foot nine, was number one in the class of 2023. So his next step was to commit to the best college in his area. The 16 year old committed to the University of North Carolina. Gigi became the first player to decommit from UNC in over 20 years. On Twitter, he said it was to find an option that puts him in the best position to reach his dream, which is the NBA. Uh, why not UNC? They've had six first round picks the last five years. Some people said another school offered him more endorsement money. Some said he was intimidated by the talent he'd have to beat out. He said it was for the NBA, which made his next move an even bigger shock. Two weeks later, Gigi announced not only was he going to South Carolina, who have had one first round pick the last 50 years, but he was reclassifying. That means he would skip his senior year and go straight to college. Sounds like a good plan, but is super risky. In 2021, two other star recruits did this to join the Memphis Tigers, Jalen Duran and Imani Bates. It turned out to be a great decision for Duran, who looked the part against better competition and was drafted 13th to Detroit. For Imani, it was a disaster. His NBA dream was crushed in college because he wasn't ready. Imani struggled, got benched, and had to return to school before getting drafted late in the second round. Plus, Gigi had just admitted to ESPN. Weighing my options and looking at the different people that reclassed up, seeing how it affected them, I feel like physically I'm not there yet to play at the college level, so I wanna stay in my class and just prepare the best I can. And now he's going for it? Only Gigi knows why he changed his mind, but what happened next was even worse than Imani Bates. He arrived at South Carolina as the youngest player in college basketball but 17-year-old Gigi was by far the best player on his team. And it showed the first few weeks. He dropped 17 points and eight boards the first 13 games on 45% shooting, 37% from three. His team was just seven and six, but Gigi was showing NBA teams he could ball. Then the schedule got tough and things changed. Gigi's stats slipped and so did the team's record. They went on an eight game losing streak and the 17 year old was acting out. He had horrible body language on the court, not even joining team huddles and low effort getting back on defense. 
but everything exploded when he questioned his coaches on IG Live. Can you help me answer that question, Chris, bro? Why don't, why don't I have the ball in my hands when it's crunch time, bro? I'm supposed to be the, oh my God, GG. I don't see myself as that, but ain't I supposed to be, quote unquote, that? Like, just give me that. Oh, just give me that. Yeah, his teams gave him a benching the next four games. They even questioned him in the locker room for not being a leader and that his body language was BS. Gigi ended up apologizing, but acted out again. During another loss, he went to the end of the bench and untied his shoes during the game. The losing was getting to his head. And once his numbers dropped off, he was afraid of being the next Imani Bates. But somehow, mock drafts still had him going in the first round. One of the biggest was from Gary Parrish, who is plugged in with college scouts and the NBA. Gary had him going 21st to the Nets. Then why did he fall to late in the second round? Well, he started working out for NBA teams and one anonymous source told The Athletic, he's gotta have self-awareness. Mentally, Gigi was young, immature, and there were some things that took place that I'm sure he regrets. But again, he was 16 when he decided to go to college. We would be talking about a top 10 kid if he had gone to UNC this year. And a scout who watched his workout said, Gigi's workout led us some questions. Jackson looked noticeably winded less than 10 minutes in. And given some of the questions that emerged with regard to his efficiency, body language, and overall maturity, this showing didn't do anything to reassure NBA decision makers. Not good, but by far the most troubling report came from that mock draft guy, Gary Perry. In his second mock draft, instead of Gigi going 21st to the Nets, he was out of the first round. And what Paris said he heard about an unnamed prospect was shocking. Talking to an agent earlier in the week, and we were talking about my mock draft, and I said, why well, I got you? Scan through it. Tell me what's stupid. What do I have wrong? When I update, I gotta change it. He said, this guy. I said, whoa, what's the story with him? He's like, everybody has him in the first round. I bet you he slips to the second. I said, why? He said, disastrous workouts, disastrous interviews. I said, what happened? He said, okay, so he's in a workout with a few other guys uh, at an NBA facility. And they're pushing him through the workout, and yeah. he is not in shape enough to get through it. Yeah. He's struggling. The guy ultimately just walks out of the workout. He said, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. Walks out of the workout, leaves the court, goes to the locker room. One of the staff members walks in the locker room. He's hitting a vape pen in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as soon as the door opened, this is what I was told, Come he on. dropped it and put his foot on top of it and was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness. That cannot be Gigi. His dad is a pastor, but Paris dropped two people from his mock first round. And the only two names missing were Turquavian Smith and Gigi Jackson. Now it could have been Smith who ended up going undrafted, but Gigi had direct reports of being winded at workouts. We may never know for sure, but Gigi watched the draft with family and friends and was selected 45th by the Grizzlies. They thought he has the talent and the character to make it in the NBA. And sure enough, the first thing he did after the draft was address his college issues. I wanna apologize again. I, I don't know how much I can stress that for you know how at times I looked and uh, how at times I acted towards the coaches and even my teammates. And I want people to know that is not me. That was That's big headed Gigi. I'm little headed Gigi right now. So Gigi started the season on the bench before going to the G League. He dropped 32 points and nine boards before getting called up with a ton of injured Grizzlies. And in his first playing time, he dropped 20 points against the Knicks, then 23 against the Dubs. He's now the second youngest player with back-to-back 20-point -back games behind only LeBron James. Which means the Warriors are in big trouble getting torched by the youngest guy in the league. But they might have a crazy plan to save Steph Curry that doesn't involve a big trade this year.